Some days you feel like a nut, and if you feel like a peanut, it is best to go to Portales, New Mexico, which is the home of Valencia peanuts. More Valencia peanuts are grown here in eastern New Mexico and in West Texas than in anywhere else in the country. And curious about Valencia peanuts and peanut butter, I have decided today to travel to Portales and visit the Sunland Peanut Company. I'm Jimmy Shear, President and CEO of Sunland Inc., uh, the largest Valencia peanut processor from Portales, New Mexico. They will plant in uh, May, June time frame, and about 130 days later, they'll run through with a peanut digger, and you'll let them sit there for four to ten days, depending on the weather, till they dry down some, and then you'll go in with a peanut thrashing machine and runs it through the machine that separates the peanuts from the peanut vines. Puts it into a hopper. From the hopper on the combine, they'll dump it into a dump cart, and the dump cart will go either to a semi-trailer and dump the peanuts in it, or to a big basket that some of the larger growers will have now, where they can accumulate a truckload of peanuts before the truck is needed. So, Jimmy, it's called a peanut but it's not a nut. It's a lagoon. Why is it called a peanut? Do you know? Good question. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was a nut. <clears throat> I mean, an almond's a nut, a mm -hmm. walnut's a nut. It nut's looks a like nut. a nut, it acts like a nut, it's in with all the nuts all the time, but it's, it's a lagoon. Mm -hmm.